Hello and welcome back. As always, Marmus Lazar, and today we're talking about Rexar. We're talking about one of the most underappreciated and underplayed heroes in HOTS currently. Why Rexar? Why now? Well, he's free to play for once because he got a whole bunch of changes in the patch 17.4. Blizz requested our feedback on the changes they made. So if you're not interested in all the talking, skip the gameplay button. Should be available roughly around this side if you're watching from a mobile device. Look in the video description for the gameplay time. And with that out of the way, what actual changes did we get to Rexar? First of all, 5% increased uh, base health for Rexar. We also got a cooldown reduction for his W ability Misha Charge and some tweaks to the talents which affected Misha Charge because again, we got a lower base cooldown for Rexar. More importantly, 22% increased basic attack range for Rexar. That kind of brings him more in line with other ranged heroes and also even more importantly than that, we got 12.5% increased leash range for Rexar. What does that mean? The leash between you and your bear. Okay, between you and Misha, the distance, you can be apart from one another until you get the least message and Misha starts running back to you. So that has been increased as well by 12.5%. Uh, I think there's some other um, less important changes, but we're going to go into talents now and I'm just going to give you my thoughts on what's good, what's not, and as per the usual. So Grizzle Bear, this is blocked for your bear, not really recommended. Normally players don't really focus Misha because they're smart enough to know, even the newbies are smart enough to know that not Misha is the issue, Rexar is the issue and they're going to try to take out Rexar and not Misha. Hunter Gatherer is the best option at level 1, sadly it does not work uh, on all the battlegrounds simply because of its nature. Collecting regen globes permanently increases the health regen of you and Misha by 1 per second. So a quest talent, you should be familiar with such talents by now. You can pick up Flare if you're fighting cloakers and not only then, Flare is very good for actually scouting, giving vision, chasing through the bush and so on and so forth. But again, Hunter Gatherer is my go-to, but if I'm like on something Battlefield of Eternity, I think I'm gonna go for Flare and uh, if they got cloakers. It's gonna depend on the situation, obviously. Level 4, Hungry Bear. Misha's basic attacks heal her for 4% of her maximum health. That's huge. Now, you gotta understand something. In this duet, it might seem from the picture over here that Misha is the pet and Rexar is the master, when in the in reality, Misha is the star, okay? Rexar is just there to throw pigeons at people, which slow a little bit. Uh, so we will try to do our best to further amplify Misha's capabilities. If you try to amplify Rexar's capabilities, you will have uh, a unpleasant surprise. He is not very efficient. Misha, again, is the star. Misha will do the damage. Misha will crowd control. Misha will front. So Misha, Misha, Misha. That's the point. All right, so Hungry Bear is usually my go-to, but it's not the only good option at level 4. Crypt Link Talents increases Spirit Swoop slow amount to 40% and its duration to 3 seconds. Extremely useful when trying to get away or chasing. Good option as well, but again, Hungry Bear, I do love the sustain this gives Misha. Easy Prey is a marking talent. Now, Rexar excels at one thing and one thing only, which is the, which isn't which doesn't really exist in Heroes of the Storm. He excels at jungling. Now, in other prominent MOBAs such as League of Legends, you have dedicated jungler roles. Okay, there is an actual jungler role. We got specialists, which are pretty much, uh, for, the, for the most part, are assassins which push lanes really good. Uh, but we don't have junglers. Okay, there is no real jungler role in Heroes of the Storm. There are strategies which can work with one of your uh, teammates being a jungler, but they're not really all that efficient and I wouldn't really recommend. It's a surefire way to get your team kind of pissed off at you. So if you want to, uh, but if you do want to build Marking Rexar, there you go, easy prey at level four, uh, four and at level seven, if you're again building Marking Rexar, Bird of Prey is the obvious choice. If not, Aspect of the Beast is my usually go-to at level 7. Misha's basic attacks lower the cooldown of Misha charge by 1.5 seconds. This used to be 2 seconds. It got knocked down because the base cooldown of Misha charge has been decreased as well. Level 10, let's talk about heroic abilities. Beast your wrath and unleash the porks. So, unleash the porks. Um, is a little, is a tad underwhelming. It's a very shitty initiation, but it's a pretty good disengage too. Okay, look at it like that. As a disengage, I see good value in it. As an engage, not really. It obviously it helps with cloakers as well. But bestial wrath is the option to have, as if you ask me, at least. Increases Misha's basic attack damage by 115% for 12 seconds. So that's a huge buff for 12 seconds. She also gets bigger and meaner and all whatnot. Got a nice visual representation to it. And like I pointed out before, Misha is the star. Normally I go for bestial wrath. Also a 50 second cooldown on that one. If not, if you're fighting cloakers, everyone that disengage unleash the boards don't really recommend this one let's talk about level 13 now there are two three 
two good talents here and a decent talent here. Wildfire Bear is the way to go uh, again for the reason we outlined earlier. This will give wildfire. Uh, this will give burning rage to your bear, so your bear will start burning up and all whatnot. And uh, its fur will uh, be everlasting. Thrill of the Hunt is the other option I like, but the problem is it's on the same tier as Wildfire Bear. Keep in mind, like we said earlier, Misha is gonna be theoretically in the middle of the enemy team, so having burning rage is a big deal. Uh, Thrill of the Hunt will increase uh, your movement speed by 25% for two seconds, uh, but these will be generated off of your basic attack. So this one works really good with Rex, especially with the increased range. We got the 22% increased basic attack range for Rex. The problem with this one is again it's on the same tier, tier as Wildfire Bear. I would love to see Thrill of the, Thrill of the Hunt somewhere at level seven, maybe. Okay, so we can couple uh, Wildfire. Wildfire Bear with Thrill of the Hunt. Sadly, we cannot do that. Bear Necessities. If Misha Charge doesn't hit an enemy hero, it can be uh, cast again for free for the next three seconds. Now, this is good when? While you're learning Rexar. Okay, maybe it's a free week, right? And maybe you're just trying Rexar. Now, pick up this one. Okay, pick up this one because you're gonna miss your W ability. Misha Charge again is an AoE stun which starts from uh, Misha's positioning. Okay, while you get the grips with how to actually use Misha Charge efficiently, pick up Burn Necessities where you kind of, after you get the hang of it, go for Wildfire Bear. Absolutely. And Bar Skin, no real need. Misha usually is resilient enough on its own not to need this, even when fighting high ability damage teams. Critical Care at level 16, no, no real need. Usually the base. Uh, version of Mend Health, uh, Mend Pet is more than enough to keep Misha alive as long as you pay a little bit of attention and don't let her do whatever, okay? Just pay a little bit of attention and you will be able to keep your bear alive, bear up without uh, having to need to invest talents into Mend Pet. Uh, let's see, Aspect of the Hawk. When Spirit Soup hits an enemy hero, you gain 100% attack speed for 3 seconds and this would be so great if you'd actually do decent damage with your basic attacks and your basic attacks don't do that much, so forget about it. Primal Intimidation is a form of imposing presence, is both for you and Misha. If you find yourself focused down a lot, this might help you, but the next talent is far better from my point of view in terms of survivability. Faint Death. This will put you in stasis for 5 seconds during this time. You will be able to control Misha. Keep in mind the cooldown, 35 seconds, not that bad. Not that bad at all. Uh, so this is, from my point of view, the option to have at level 16. Uh, uh, the other one would be Primal Intimidation, but I'd somehow find always more value out of Faint Death, especially if they got like, uh, mad, uh, single target damage, something like, I don't know, maybe you wanna mitigate a Nova's Precision Strike, okay? There's no way to get out of it, you're slowed, or you just can't get out of it, you're gonna Faint Death, you're gonna be fine. Maybe an Artanis Purifier Beam and so on and so forth, okay? So this is my recommendation to you guys. Level 20, Hardened Skin. Now this will give you a hardened skin for you and Misha, taking 75% less damage for 4 seconds. So again, both you and Misha, very good survival talent on Rexar. You are still a warrior, you are not super duper squishy for a... Okay, you are squishy for a warrior, okay, Rexar himself, Misha, no, Misha strong, you not. Um, so this is a more or less, from my point of view, a very good talent to have. Okay, uh, it'd be to be able to mitigate that damage, okay, to stay longer in the middle of the enemy team with Misha or with yourself, okay, maybe you get caught out, this will help you, give you enough time to actually get Misha back into a position where she can help you, maybe she was fronting for your team and so on and so forth. Frenzy of Kalandor, your basic attacks deal 10% more damage and Misha's basic attacks slow the target for 20% for 1.25 seconds. It, this works great into the whole overall Rexar and Misha team combo into one hero thing, okay? But again, I find myself needing hardened skin more often than not. Don't really go for kill command ever. I like the root 50% extra more damage is rather pointless because normally unleash the porks doesn't really do all that much, so whatever damage. The root can be good, definitely. Spirit Bond is another good option here. Again, we're keeping in mind that Misha is the star, so whatever we can do to help her will help us. Also increases the duration of BCL Wrath by 50%, so you're gonna get 18 seconds out of it. And Misha's basic attacks heal Rexar for 50% of her damage during bestial wrath okay some a little bit of sustain for rexar as well i told you guys more often than not i go for hard skin but there's no problem picking up spirit bomb or frenzy of calendar kill command not really all right guys that's gonna do it for now uh and we're gonna skip the gameplay and i'm gonna give you my overall thoughts at the end as per the usual I hear the call of the wild. he wants the mark obviously Alright guys, here we go, so we landed on the Cursed Hollow Battleground and we're gonna pick up our first talent for Rexar. But look at this guys, like this is like the best skin to mount color coordination I could find. Okay, it doesn't match out perfectly, but it works. The problem is he, Rexar only has animation in his legs, a little bit in the knees. He kinda looks like a dead stone giant like this, I don't know. Kinda motionless, you know? 
Kind of weird. Anyway, the enemy team is composed of Falstad, Butcher, Li Ming, Dehaka, and Rhaegar. Dehaka works nicely on this map. <laughs> we got a Rexar. <laughs> okay. Uh, and also Li Ming, Karazim, Gazlo, and a Tracer. I'd... If I say I like their team composition more, can I be blamed? I don't think so. Anyway, Hunter Gatherer. This map is okay for this talent. We're gonna be uh, able to get some nice globe action. And I'm gonna help Gas. Because I'm guessing against him might be Falstead. So he's gonna need my help a little bit. I'm gonna use my bear to check out the bush. I got bear in the bush at this time. Bear in the bush, all good, all good. Don't worry about it. She's holding position, right? Because I used Misha focus on the ground. If you use it on a hero, on an enemy hero, she will start focusing. Okay, never mind. Call her back. Okay, butcher came. Okay, and false that as well. So I was right, false that as well. Okay, try not to try not to get Misha dead all that often because you see you're worthless without her you only throw out these little pigeons which don't really hurt and slow a little bit so let's let's try to zone a little bit here try to protect these gas low turrets to some degree call them bear back and again not too much damage onto that bear try to get a stand in never mind okay turn around turn around call the bear back Build the bear up we know the butcher ain't got brand turning around once again i'm going on the false dead Theoretically, in this duo, uh, they should really have the upper hand. I'm trying to protect the turrets, but I'm not really doing a good job. You see, they're both low now because of the Gaslow turrets, not because of anything else. Uh, right, so we got this shit locked down, me and Gaslow, bro. Here. I'm just a little bit worried about my mana at this point. They had the fountain. We did not get that globe. And check out that bush. Is there. Oh, it's nobody in that bush. Therefore, bear in the bush. And now we can actually start pushing down the towers. Good job, Gaz. You are amazed, balls. Really? Oh, pfft. Stunned that guy. Running away. Turning my bear onto him. Turning my bear onto him. Okay, my bear fronting like a boss. My bear's a boss. Bear is boss. Rexar is not. Slow him down. Do a little bit of damage. Come back in. Still no first blood. AoE is not gonna land. And good damage. Oh, frick. That was not the fucking plan. Stun slow and get the fuck out of town. Oh, please excuse my French. Obviously, we were never even close to dying there. Everything was calculated to the decimal. Ain't that right? Ain't that right, Butcher? Oh, hold on. Butcher, what up? <laughs> oh, come on, Dehaka, too. Get on that, Dehaka, man. Get on that, Dehaka. Get some damage onto him. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You're fighting bear. You're fighting freaking Russian bear. Russian bear, don't get around, man. Okay, we got a lot of damage onto us, sadly. We are out of mana, but I still want that globe. I'm gonna pick it up with Misha. And I'm gonna reposition for the following tribute. Go to bush! Bear in bush attack. Lo 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 lo. Out of range. Run back now, please. Oh god, where the fuck is the rest of our team? I don't know. Apparently not here at the current time. Sadly, I do not have a lot of mana now. Okay, finally we managed to kill the butcher though. Uh, <laughs> stun. Oh my god, that W into the Haka stung so good. Not lucky at all. Obviously everything absolutely skill based there. Level 6 and 6, 3 minutes and a half into the game. We're gonna keep on eye on damage. What kind of damage does Rekstar do? Warrior level damage, bruiser level damage, something along those lines. So, you guys are wondering, okay, is Rexar strong? Is he meta? Should I have him? In terms of actual effectiveness, no. Okay, if you're thinking Hero League, Team League, all that good stuff, okay, the roster, you should have a few heroes currently. No, Rexar is not part of the efficient kind of hero. Uh, if you want to have a little bit of fun, well, fun is always a subjective matter, is it not, false dead? So... I'm not sure what to tell you on that one, just take a look at gameplay, see if you think this thing might actually be fun for you, then absolutely go for Rexar. Is it fun for me? Sometimes it is, definitely with a charge, you know, get an AoE good stun there. I have some fun, zoning with my bear is also kind of rewarding. Ah, uh, so there you go. But he's not very efficient at what he does, simply because there are always better options than Rexy. Okay? Stupid false that what you thought I won't change to you. Okay, we another, got another tribute chop. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm going. Rexar is teleporting back. He has the advantage of being able to fly in position. We're gonna pick up Aspect of the Beast. This 
Some the beast of the aspect. Where the frick is the bear? Oh, here he is. Oh, by the way, on your minimap, the bear is represented by a simple blue dot, just like any other lane minion. Okay, so just because he's represented like any other freaking lane minion, uh, it is hard to actually tell where the bear is. Another very uh, interesting design decision by Blaze. Oh! The fuck? Oh my god. Low! Get the stun! Oh, I missed the stun. I suck. I suck. I suck. Oh, wait. Pull the bear back. Pull the bear back. The bear is coming back. The bear is coming back. No, not anymore, though. Okay, still coming back. Still coming back. They still didn't manage to get our bar. Ah, damn it. If I would have got the stun there on the butcher, that might have been a kill. Anyway, we lost two tributes in a row, and now we're losing XP on all of the lanes. So I'm gonna head mid. I see Li Ming is top while Gaslow is doing a little bit of murking. We got two mercs on our team. Two mercenary two merc doers, me and him. Gotta call Misha back a little bit. No, pull her back in. Okay. Go Mish, go Mish. Okay, good. <clears throat> Right, the enemy team, however, does have a full level on us. That's bad because they're gonna be able to pick up their heroics before us, way before us. Again, the actual soaking sucked and Gaslow is running for his life. I'm gonna try to... Nope, I can't help him because those guys are going to help him. Uh, I don't want to lose more soaking on this lane. Besides, the Gaslow died anyway. So, level 10 for the enemy team and level 9 for us. We are in an extremely bad situation simply because we lost the first two tributes and this is the third one. We will get cursed. We cannot fight that because we do not have a heroic week we do not have so what I'm gonna do is try to delay a little bit <laughs> hey Misha can you get it no no, no. I need level 10 but that doesn't appear to be happening anytime soon you missed come on Ming come on this is your time freaking ancestral is gonna save his ass Turning my attention to the enemy butcher, getting the stun on the butcher. A lot of damage. That's gonna be a kill. Give me my freaking heroic! And disengage by the false that will save their arses. Right, we're eating a curse right now. I'm gonna head down the bottom lane. That's gotta be a kill. Right, so we finally got our level 10 with that kill. It's gonna be, it's gonna be bestial in the Wrath. Wrath in the bestial, obviously. Uh, like I said, we are trying to amplify Misha's capabilities as much as we can. But right now we're going home. Out of mana, we're gonna che check uh, damage. Uh, it's unacceptable for a Rexar to out-damage a Tracer. You should never really be in this situation. You see Gaslow there with three deaths on top of the damage meters. We're not really playing all that good. Gaslow up top. Fighting the enemy Dehak. I'm gonna head up there in a second. Try to help him out. The curse will end in approximately 8 seconds. Li Ming, however, hit the dirt on the bottom lane. Things are happening. Oh, hi. Come on, try to burrow. Ah, uh, he's dead. No, no, no. Too late, bro. He tried to burrow, but it was a little bit too late for him. We got a kill on the enemy Dehak out there. Gaslo didn't help, but then again, what could he have done? What? Come into melee range and melee him? Eh, whatever. Uh, now I'm going mid. I'm trying to be everywhere, I'm trying to offer as much support as I can. We have uh, narrowed the gap on XP. Ain't that right, Mish? Okay. Oh, look! Misha's focusing right now. Misha's focusing on him. Let's try to get us slow. No, not gonna happen. Misha's still going. Misha's still going! Oh, Ancestral has been popped by Regar. We're gonna be back in a way. I'm happy with the fact that I popped that Ancestral off of Regar. Good slow onto him. Good damage onto the enemy Regar. Very good kill there. Let me try to get a stun on the butcher. We do get a stun on the butcher. Shit. Actually, that saved me. Thanks a lot. False dad, you are a bloody deer. And you're gonna be dinner soon for my bear. He li she likes fried chicken. Is he a he or a she? I'm gonna call her a she, okay? Because her temper tantrums in control kind of resemble a mad woman for the most part. So there you go. Speaking of controls, how are the controls for me, channel? Ladies, are you used to say they're bad? Are they still bad? Well, they're not horrible like they were at launch, definitely not. However, I would still not call this optimal. Okay. Nah, nah, that's right. You got nothing on this bear. You got nothing on this bear. What the hell, fighting again there? Can I get level 13 first before I fight? Would that be okay with everybody? No, they're still fighting. I'm just gonna get XP here. Okay, we got level 16. We're gonna pick up wildfire in the bear, after which we're gonna rotate the frick out of here. Wait, wait, wait. I want to fight this butcher. Are you a level 1 butcher? Because you sure look like one. But you might not be. Are you? 
sucker. <laughs> Looks like a level 1 butcher. Right, now what? Uh, I don't know, stay here, push, look! Look, 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 Rhaegar! Try to get a stun, got the stun on the Rhaegar, good damage onto him, he's a little bit slowed. Rhaegar coming in, gas low, switching my focus to the chicken right of all set. He's gonna take a lot of damage from my bear, calling the bear back and repositioning myself since I'm out of mana, but it's okay, because the Li Ming's knocked uh, each other out there in the middle lane, I believe. Gotta go back, we're gonna keep an eye on damage, like I said. Here's Talon Saddle level 10, if you guys are interested, well, actually 14. And we got a tribute on the top lane, we are actually in front of the enemy team at this time. Somehow we came back at it, even though we got our heroics later, and we ate a full curse. We still haven't lost one single structure, but this one's gonna fall, so. Anyway, go on top. With bear charging, the good, the good, uh, na 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 na, charge. Okay, we got the Haka up in there. Stop it, the Haka. Got a stun under the Haka. Beastial Wrath has been activated. The Haka. I'm turning on to the enemy Regar because I know you did. That's why disengage from full set came a little bit too late there. Get in there, bear. I'm using the one key. That's the focus, Misha. God damn you! To in order to micro her better, we're gonna get a kill under the Haka. Leash up. And now we're working on this Ming. Now, Ming does have blinks, but they don't have that big of a range. So if you just stick onto her, you should be fine. Uh, hello, Butcher. Now, you didn't want to answer me a little bit er earlier, but you're going to die now to Lee and the Mings. Uh, right, full team wipe, I do believe. Yes, it's okay. Our bear can tank. Why, why you worry when you have bear? You have bear up in there. Do it. Just do it. Uh, <laughs> we're going to pick up Faint Death. At level 60. Yeah. Alright. Uh, I'm a little bit low on mana, but I should be able to help my team. Multi. Boss, get in there, Mish. <laughs> right, so if we picked up, if we were actually uh, gone for Jungle Rexar, that wouldn't have been so bad on this map. Okay, on this map, Jungle Rexar ain't so bad. I'm gonna conserve my mana. Please tell me, yes, there's still the fountain here for a little bit of mana, because the next tribute should be spawning soon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How's about I come bot lane to help the Limings? Limings, I am here for help. Stay in bush. See, Misha now actually stays in bush with you. Good job, Liz. Uh, that was one of the issues at launch, which is no longer an issue. We're gonna go top lane. That's where the next trip is spawning. In that right. Ah, damn it. I, I actually activated W like right at the same time he actually used Gus. But that's a good thing because you now 60 seconds. The enemy team does not have Gus. They do not have the level 16 talent. This is an unfair fight if they're gonna take it, which they shouldn't. Oh, perfect. Perfect, baby. I couldn't ask for more than that, man. Ain't that right, Regar? Regar. Come on, I'm almost there. I'm almost... Oh, you... Why you do that to Bear? Don't you know Bear gone charge you then? Oh, oh, shit. Okay, my bad died. Not made of stone, is he Bear? No, no, absolutely not. And I got a death timer. You can see it on your trait over here. Actually, see what's the death timer for uh, your Bear. When you do lose it, it, it will happen. Not all that often, okay? And it should be like in a couple of seconds. Just keep in mind, you are very, very... Uh... Not useful while you do not have the bear. Oh god! I didn't understand he did that. <laughs> okay, never mind. Come back. Right, we're a little bit low. I'm actually gonna go back. Hopefully nobody on the enemy team will come this way. I'm just gonna use the bear to scout. Okay, nobody here, nobody there. Good, good, good. Now we're going through the tribute. This should be our third one. We should be able to get a curse now. However, the enemy team can fight this simply because they do have their level 16. Only one level separating us so far. Kerosene there going in way too bravely, way too deep. But he did keep the enemy team at bay. Uh, follow up, be still wrath. Do uh oh, change, change, change me, shot me, shot. Okay, me, uh, uh, I don't know, faint death, whatever. I'm a faint death for absolutely no reason. See, actually, the beam there from Blooming's crap. Then screw this shit. <laughs> okay, so we died there. Uh, the whole. Problem was the Kerosene over, over his, he was a little bit overzealous and he got cut out by the Butcher with his lamb to the slaughter that silenced him and he wasn't able to do much after that. But we did get a curse, so it's not all bad, plus top lane's pushing like a boss, so not, not so bad, not so bad. That's gonna be the first real death of the game, that is when we die. Here are stats some more guys, here you go, Tracer out damaging Rexar, always nice to see, always nice to see. Gaslow still on top. 
Uh, what else can I say about Rexar since we're dead and not really doing anything? Well, we can watch uh, Tracer die. There you go in slow motion. That could have been nice. Uh, level 18 and 18, we're 15 minutes into the game. Nothing separating us at this point. I do believe the enemy team has a much uh, stronger team composition for this specific battleground. However, they have made a few mistakes here and there. So that's why we're tied right now. Not much else to say about Rexar, folks. You, I think I made my opinion on him pretty clear. It is my honest hope that Blizzard will scratch the entire Rexar idea, which was never right from the get-go, uh, and try to come up with something different. That's probably not going to happen, but they did hint it at a Rexar rework, which should come... Uh, I don't know when. In the latest dev... Uh, in the latest patch... Uh, Fuck, I thought he would go that way. He didn't. I thought he would try to juke that way and he actually went straight back. My bad. Uh, uh oh. Okay, stun. Come on, come on, come on. Almost okay. Go. Reposition myself. Go. Uh oh. Actually, that helped me. Thanks. Kill him. Go, 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 go. Come on, bear. I know you can freaking do it, bear. Bear so good! The stun will secure the kill on the chicken. Yum yum chicken for dinner. Oh crap, yeah, they got this. Right, I'm gonna go mid. No need for everybody to defend against the boss. I'm gonna push back mid because we do have a mercenary camp pushing. And so does the enemy team. Gonna get wildfire bear up in there. Gonna burn those nasty minions. So yeah, uh, they did hint it in the latest uh, patch notes that they are looking at giving Rexar a full pass, so hopefully a rework. However, as you saw up until this point, reworks don't really change that much of the base kit or the idea of a hero, and I just don't believe this works, okay, in terms of viability. Obviously, it comes down to numbers. If they just crank up Rexar's numbers, he's gonna become viable and all whatnot. We're gonna go with Spirit Bond this game, because why not? Okay, stun and destroy her. Easy mode, no problem at all. Ain't that right, the Haka? Come out, come out, the Haka. Come out, I freaking dare you, man. No! I tried to stun the Haka there. It's okay, Gazbo's got our backs. Wildfire bear, baby. One big humongoid bear. Mm, nobody get that tribute? Uh oh, he's dead. Nothing we can do for him right now. One heal silence, goddammit. Got to try to stun the Haka. No, okay, Tracer will be able to get away. Gonna feign death right now. I am controlling Bear. I am Bear. I am Bear. Move it, god damn you. God damn it. Slow him the frick down while Li Ming laser beams him to death. If I was, it was Li Ming's, I would have instant teleported and used laser beams again to get that another kill. <gasps> Ooh! Oh, what? Where the. Um, wait, Rags. Rags. Oh, hi, Rags. Spirit Bond. Level 20 upgrade, a lot of damage, chicken gets deleted once again. Easy mode. I want that globe though. I would definitely like that globe. I wasn't very efficient at getting globes, but then again, it's not like I had a lot of problems dying and all whatnot. So there you go. Uh, here's damage once again. I'm actually keeping up with a tracer. I'm the only warrior on the team. Let's keep that in mind, guys. Uh, let's try to hit pigeon swoop two of them. So yeah, that's about it. Hopefully the rework will be massive for Rexar. Hopefully we will see huge changes to him, to his base kit and all whatnot. The solution with uh, Misha Focus, while it does work, is not... How can I even put this? It's not really elegant, okay? It's a plaster, it's a patch on a wound that is not really healed. I'm gonna put it like that. Ain't I poetic? I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Uh, and that's about it, okay? I'm hoping for changes. I want to see the champion of the horde be fun. I want to see the champion of the horde be rewarding. And I want to see the champion of the horde kick some serious ass, okay? See him rank, see him everywhere, and actually, you know, feel strong. Because he's the champion of the horde, what? But that is not the case at this point. This not really. I know that hero must die. Hold on. And the stun. The stun did land, and that's gonna be... Oh, Ancestral will land, however. I am trapped, and now I will die. No, faint death, never mind. Spirit bond active. Let me get out. Okay, kill me. No, 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 I got palm. No, palm ran out. Where's my stinking bear? Okay, bear with me. Get in there, bear. Quickly. Okay, bear got knocked back. <laughs> so funny how Misha looks when she gets knocked back. And a kill on the full step by our very own Tracer. We can finish. We can finish, guys. What are you doing? 
Get in there and finish. Sick of Mish. Bleh! Missed. Shit. Mish still on him though, see? Mish chase him to the ends of the earth. <laughs> and the Li Ming lays of beams of death, of doom, of doom of death. And we also killed the Li Ming just for a full team wipe. That's gonna be GG, guys. Well, we started off pretty badly, but we kind of came into our own, <laughs> considering we only had Rexar as a front line. And Kerosene. Okay, we did have Kerosene as well. Uh, so wrap it up about Rexar. What do you think about him? He is a... I would love, I would really love at this point even to say that Rexar is a niche pick. The truth is, he is not, he is not viable. There are plenty of other options, no matter the circumstances when it comes to warriors or full tanks or bruisers. Okay, he's kind of neither. If Heroes of the Storm had a more uh, focused emphasis on jungling, then sure, Rexar would be in there somewhere. But as it is, nope, not really. Not gonna recommend this hero from an effective point of view if you want to, however, try the whole uh, hero with a pet kind of, you know, novelty, then sure, try out Rexar, this seems interesting to you. But again, for the time being, not gonna recommend the hero for effectiveness, I will wait on the rework. As always, my name has been Lazar, let me know what you think in the comment section down below, like or dislike, however you feel about the video, and I'll see you guys again soon. Oh, and subscribe. Bye-bye.